Bill, is that almost the perfect coaching moment where you can get a victory in a game that was you know, that challenging and you can teach a lesson a little bit? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I think that, first of all, give Western Kentucky a lot of credit. They're very difficult to prepare for. They've won three in a row coming in. I really don't care what happened in the Alabama game. Alabama's a good football team. Uh, they're a good football team, Western Kentucky, and they gave us, obviously, everything we could handle. They got a great coaching staff, a lot of respect. Look, we have to do better. You know, we, we, we can play better. We need to start faster. We, we've got the chance to have a good football team, but we have to show up and be ready to go right from the get-go. And I think um, that's something we're going to work hard on. But we're a very resilient team. Give, give our guys a lot of credit. You know, Donovan, as a rock, who came up with a big uh, – a big strip sack, and that was huge in the game, obviously. I thought Grayson James, for the most part, you know, uh, he's a calm, poised guy, and he, he did a good job. So uh, it was a resilient win. Give our give our, our guys a lot of credit, but, uh, but I just think we, we have a higher ceiling. Or no ceiling. I mean, we, we can play better. That's all I'm saying. I'm having trouble articulating it, Ken. Uh, I did that before <laughs> all of you arrived. Uh, no cell phone videos during the press conference. We'll uh, deliver a copy of our video afterwards. Tom? Yep. Thank you. Uh, Coach, when did, uh, when did you know that Grayson was going to play this week and just um, have to tell the team and, and all that? Yeah, I didn't make, Grayson's a good player. Uh, I'm not going to get into when I knew and all that stuff. That's that's for the guys in this room. Um, Grayson's a good player. He, he, you know, he played well in the spring game. When he's had his opportunities in practice, he's done a good job. We, we have a lot of confidence in Grayson. I feel like we're very lucky to have Grayson. Um, you know, to come in there and, and you know, having not played a whole lot this year at all, and just to be able to, and, and he was injured too, back uh, a few weeks ago. So, give a lot of credit to him. And um, you know, I, I don't make, I'm not a, it's not a big dramatic thing, Kevin, when it comes to the team. Like, I don't stand up and give speeches about who's playing and who's not playing. I show film, I teach football, and uh, that's what the coaches do, and that's what we try to do. Try to get better every day. Uh, coach, the the offense in general under Grayson. Did you have to change things based on the type of quarterback that he was compared to Tommy? And as the game goes on or game went on, did you start to notice things that he might have been more comfortable with that you could then, you know, work with? Yeah, I would say, I mean, look, I, there's a, you know, we didn't change that much. Um, he, he, he ran the same plays for the most part. That I, I would give credit to Western Kentucky more so. You know, they're a pressure, I think they pressured 65% of the time coming into the game. I'm not sure what the percentage was today. And, you know, I would, I would give them credit. You know, we uh, they kept us off balance. They did a really good job. It took us a while to get adjusted. Um, we, we turned the ball over. Um, we were moving the ball, turned it over. Things that we can't do. We, we, we cannot do that. And so, um, you know, I give Western Kentucky credit more so than, you know, what plays we ran and all that stuff. Let's try with them, Rich, please. Uh, more about Don. It seems like he just wouldn't let you guys lose there. Donovan was, was yeah, he, you know, Donovan – is a hell of a player, one of the best players in the ACC. Um, he, he's a playmaker. He's smart. He knows how to. Make, he knows when the when the time is right to make a play. He's got good timing. You know, he knew that we needed a play right there, and uh, you know, he made a play. We're we're, um, we're very happy that Donovan is on our team. That's for sure. He did a he did a great job today. Bill, just comments on that touchdown at the end of the first half. It kind of gave you a little breathing space. It seemed like at the end, yeah, yeah. our touchdown, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we needed something. I mean, yeah, no, to, you know, we, it was almost a goose egg there at halftime, which would have been thoroughly embarrassing. Um, so it was a little less embarrassing that we, we were able to score a touchdown. But, uh, you know, look, again, like I tell you, I, I give Western Kentucky a lot of credit. They did a really good job. We have to study this film because a lot of teams will copy kind of some of the things that they did, and we have to figure it out and get better. But, uh, yeah, our guys hung in there. They're very resilient. They're, they're, they're a tough group of guys. They practice hard. They work very hard. They, they don't feel good at halftime when they come in like that. They, they look in the mirror, they self-assess, mm -hmm. and they go out there and they try to play better in the second half. So I'm very proud of that. I'm proud of the way they, they're, the resiliency of the group. Quick follow, Bill. Uh, just the short and intermediate passing game that was so effective in the first half, it kind of disappeared, especially in the fourth quarter. What adjustments did you make? Yeah, I think Tim did a good job of kind of um, mixing in some man, um, mixing in some some – uh, some matched coverage where you can pass things off inside, if that makes sense. So the unders weren't hurting us as much uh, in the second half as the, the shallow cross as it was in the first half. And, uh, you, you know, give the players a lot of credit. You know, they, they understood the adjustment and, and they were able to execute in the second half. So Mike, thanks for up. Coach, why do you think you were able to run the ball 
a lot better late than at the beginning. I think we got big guys up front, and I think eventually they wear people down. Some teams, not every team, you know, because other teams have big guys too. But I think <coughs> in this case, you know, I thought our guys hung in there, and they kept, they kept, you know, the two-yard gain in the first half became a six-yard gain in the second half, and that's what I always say. Like, you know, if you have a good offensive line, which we do, eventually just stick with it. Don't, don't abandon a run at Boston College. Do, do not abandon a run because eventually it'll, it'll break through, and I think it did today. Fine. Coach, obviously Grayson's first start at BC. Um, as he's navigating the ups and downs of a game like this, what are you telling him here in his ear? Yeah, I don't, you know, I, he's a veteran player. He's got 11 starts uh, at FIU. Um, he's played a lot of football. He's very, very smart, very poised. You know, my thing is just telling him what the next series of plays are going to be, you know, during a timeout or things like that. What we're thinking, do you like this play? I always ask these guys, you know, hey, you know, hey, I don't really like this play, coach. Then we'll change the play, you know, if they're not comfortable with the play. So those are the type of conversations, nothing more than that. Coach, just talk about the game that Kai had, you know, coming back from yeah. injury. He, he came up huge for you guys in the no second doubt. half. Yeah, he, he was a hot back today. I think I've heard, I've said that in the past. You know, anytime you got a guy, you can tell he's, the line of scrimmage is moving. He's got a good feel for it. He's running with his pads down. He's a physical player. He's a tough guy. He's still got kind of a banged up ankle. Um, very tough guy. And he ran really well today. He came up big for us, took care of the ball. They were trying to, you know, rip the ball out and, he, he, he did a really good job today. A really proud of guy. Coach, I asked you the same thing last week. Um, was the message the same thing in the locker room uh, at halftime when you guys were, were down? Yeah, I mean, it was similar. It was similar. Yeah, it wasn't a real happy locker room at halftime. Uh, we have, you know, we just, just I'm not, I'm just speaking for myself here, but we, we have very, I have very high expectations for the team. So, I look at it as definitely my fault when we don't play well in the first half. And I see that crowd, especially the students. I see the students, and I, I feel bad that we, we've got to play better in the first half of these games. And I know we, we can, and so I've got to figure it out. I've got to figure out what I can do better to get these guys playing better in the first half And uh, because I take that to heart. And so, you know, what I talked to them about at halftime is we don't blame each other. We're a team. You know, it's all about the team. That's the great thing about – Football. You can talk about NIL, transfer portal, all this other stuff. In the end, it comes down to the team. And I think these guys are really starting to realize that, and that's what you saw in the second half. We played complementary football. We played together as a team. That's what we have to continue to try to do. Coach, between Penn State and Texans and here, this is the best five-game start you've had. What does it mean when you hear that? Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I know the Texans, we won nine in a row one year, but maybe we didn't start off. I got you. Oh, best five-game stretch. Start. Okay. Start. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I was confused. I'm, I'm, I'm easily confused. <laughs> That's my Brown degree at, at work there. Um, no, it's just, look, get, it's a credit to our kids. They, 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 um, they work very hard. I'm happy for them. I think that the key to us is when it, when it becomes an exciting football season is when you're winning and the games become bigger and bigger, right? So... You know, now you start your ACC schedule, and I think obviously that's the most important part of the schedule. We got a very, very difficult game on the road uh, coming up that we have to have a great week in preparation for. Graham, yeah, one more. Uh, Coach, first, my brother's a Brown graduate, so I'm totally using that against him. Yeah, uh, you should. So, uh, Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Gabe, Gabe Belkamp uh, for Western Kentucky was such a unique quarterback. Just how is he kind of different from what you've seen uh, just from any quarterback so far this season? Yeah, we were very concerned about him, and rightfully so. I mean, he's very athletic, uh, very poised, made some really nice throws. I thought we kind of stepped up a little bit better, obviously, in the second half to try to contain him. But um, I, I thought he, he was really a tough guy to defend, really. Um, he, you know, the running game that they have, I told Coach Helton at the end of the game, we have and several of their coaches. I, I know their coaching staff, and um, just a lot of respect for them. They do a really good job. It's a very, very, obviously a very difficult game. All right. so, thank, thank you, you guys. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank you.